This is the one of the beautiful question in the first two marks. Uh, not very tough. But yes, you have to apply the brain for this particular question. Okay. So this is the question which I like very much in the two marks section. That let's understand what is the meaning of the question. N is the smallest integer such that the sum of digit of n is divisible by 5 as well as sum of digit of n plus 1 is also divisible by 5. Now here one confusion I am having, maybe I am wrong. They mentioned that ki n be the smallest integer they say. They did not say positive integer. Uh, if n is negative then it is a problem. Because n plus 1 sum of digit also if you are taking it. So for example if I say 2, 3, 5 or 2, 3, 1 let us take it. Right. So what is the sum of digit? You say sir, very simple 6. What is the sum of digit in minus 2, 3, 1? 6. Sum of digits, I am saying, my digit cannot be negative. So, sum of digit, either positive number or negative number does not make any difference. But there is a problem. If the number n is your 2, 3, 1, in that case n plus 1 will be 2, 3, 2. And if n is minus 2, 3, 1, then n plus 1 will be minus 2, 3, 0. Understand? So, this create problem. So, that is what I felt. So, I, I do not know, maybe I am wrong. Uh, but uh, what I feel ki they should mention that ki n is positive integer or maybe they should say n is natural number. But they did not mention why they did not mention that will come once they will release the key. But we will take n positive and we will solve it. Okay. For positive only I am solving. Now think carefully. n is uh, sum of digit of n is to, to I am taking assumption ki let let sum of digits of n is x sum of digits of n as x and sum of digits of n plus 1 is y let's just take it sum of digits of n is x so 100% x must be divisible by 5 y must divisible by 5 and x minus y should be also divisible by 5. If two number divisible by 5, so their difference should be also divisible by 5. What is x minus y? Think carefully. x minus y is what? Now don't say ki sir 1 or minus 1. Do not say that. Why so? If you take any two consecutive number, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, of course, here sum of digit 6, here sum of digit will be 7, so difference will be 1. Ignore the negative sign, okay. Difference will be 1. I am talking about difference. I am not talking about the subtraction. Difference, can you understand? Huh, bigger minus. 1. So, sir, any two number, consecutive number, difference, sum of digits, difference will be 1. No. If you take 2, 9 and 3, 0, what are the differences coming here? Here is coming uh, 11 sum of digit, here sum of digit 3, the so difference will be 8. If you take 3 digit number, problem where it start? If the last digit is 9, then problem start. So, x minus y, difference of sum of digit of 2 consecutive number is always 9m minus 1 is always 9m minus 1. You are going to write RMO also. I hope all of you will get clear. Those who are getting clear. Those who are not getting clear, nothing to worry. If you are in 8th, 9th, 10th class, you can write next year also. The best thing is that we should learn something new. x minus y equal 9m minus 1. What is the m, sir? m is number of 9 at the end of 9 at the end of end of n. Then only the problem is start. Understood my point? So suppose here I am saying here number of 9 at the end is 0 so uh, difference will be 1. Here number of 9 at the end is 1 so we will say 9 into 1 minus 1 8 and see difference is coming. You take any, any random number, doesn't matter. Suppose I say 2, 5, 9, 9, 9 and 2, next number, consecutive number, 2, 5. Next, 
number one if you add it what will what is coming zero here zero here zero here and this will be six hundred percent the difference of these two summation digit summation will be nine into three minus one nine into three minus one means 26 you can verify nine 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 27 plus 5 uh, 27 plus 5 32 plus 2 34 and here is what 8 34 minus 8 26 see 26 coming this is what is coming this point should be very clear are you able to understand so this is the 9m minus 1 always but according to question x is divisible by 5 that is okay y is also divisible by 5 that is also okay x minus y should be divisible by 5 means 9m minus 1 must be divisible by 5 9m minus 1 means 5 must divide 9m minus 1 yes or no 5 must divide 9m minus 1 m is what number of 9 at the end so let's put different different value m equal to 0 impossible m equal to 1 9 minus 1 8 8 is not divisible by 5 n equal to m equal to 2 18 minus 1 17 not divisible 3 27 minus 1 26 not divisible 4 36 minus 1 35 divisible i am not saying this some other value of m but that will be a bigger value i want a smallest integer so surely a small least value of m least value of m should be should be should be 4 yes sir ah. so i know now the number that number what we have, they are asking there at the end 4 9 surely is there means n equal to something something 4 9 something something 4 9 because at the end 4 9 should be there this is the confirm of this something i have to fill it see n should be divisible by hello divisible by 5 so here sum of digit is what sum of sorry not n i'm sorry sum of digit of n must be divisible by 5 here sum of digit till now 36 36 not divisible by 5 after 30 some number i will whatever number i will add the summation will be right now summation is what carefully watch everybody right now what is the summation 36 so 36 plus something has to come so that this should be divisible by 5 and that something should be smallest. One I cannot put because 37, 2 also no, 3 also no, 4 yes, 36 plus 4, 40. So 100% your number should be this. Let's verify. N plus 1 will be what? N plus 1, 1 added, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. This is also divisible by 5. This is also divisible by 5. And difference of this will be already 36 minus 1, 35. The divisible by 5, the everything perfect. So we'll say our number is our number n equal to 4 9 4 times 9. This is the number. This is our answer. But they ask you what they ask? First two digit of n in the same order. So first two digit is 49. So answer will be 49. Beautiful question. Something we learn from this point. Sum of digit. Difference of sum of digit of two consecutive number is 9m minus 1. What is m? m is the number of 9 at the end of n. Don't say that ki number of 9 involving the number. Number of, at the end how many 9s are there? So this is the one of the very beautiful question. I like this one. Means according to two marks weightage, it's a good question. Right? 49 will be the answer. I will request to all of you, those who got the correct answer, please mention in the comment box so that uh, for me to make it because the next video I will be coming for the cutoff. So as much as feedback I will be getting, it will be much better. So put in the comment if you got it and if you got some other way this method, you can tell things your, your way. Because I am not giving guarantee that whatever question I am solving that it will be correct only. It may be sometimes wrong human do mistake so uh, if you are getting different answer or if you are having some other way of solving this question please mention in the comment box right let us go to the next question number 9 thank you